So you, you just adjust it like that. And then you undo it in that direction where these grips are. And that will undo the middle one without damaging it. This is the one that needs the lip goes down inside. And this one needs to be uh, lubricated. Once you get the main pump off, the gasket does have like a lip that sticks down, that sticks down into the vessel. So that would be like that. So not upright, but sticks down into the vessel. And the lubricant, so I've got some silicon lubricant, which was a plumbing product. It's for O-rings on, uh, I don't know, various pipes and things that you get for, for plumbing. So if you can't, yeah, just have a look in a plumber's merchant or DIY store. So it's just like a white clear kind of gooey stuff. So I'm just going to smear some. Some around. And on top, and then by, bearing on mind, bearing in mind what the other guy was saying, I'm just kind of going to go over it and remove any excess. So now I don't have any large amounts on there. It's just kind of, it's just smooth and greasy, really. I guess is the best way to explain it. So that's, that's how it is looking. Uh, the other chap mentioned about putting some in the threads, which I never really thought about before, but maybe that makes sense. I don't know. I mean, the threads are very, very coarse. So I, I imagine even with grease, it won't uh, it won't help like retain any pressure because it's got to rely on the gasket really. To be honest. Okay, so that's my top gasket. Alright, so I've done it up pretty tight by hand. Yeah. Right, the little small one on the side here, I already released the rubber gasket. It doesn't have a particular face, it's just it's just smooth on both sides. So it can't go in the wrong direction. So I'm just going to smear some again on this. Okay, so it's all shiny, but I would say not excessive. I haven't got any that can actually fall off or come off. This was actually quite difficult to get out, by the way. Um, it's 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 quite thick. Well, it goes in so easily with the uh, lubrication. Yeah, so getting it out, I use a sort of old blunt-ish screwdriver that's fairly small. 
but not, not so small that it will pierce the rubber. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I've done the main pump, I've done the filling cap. This one here, I did it just to have a look, but I'm not gonna interfere with um, the pipe that goes inside because I don't want to, I don't want to loosen the way that that is inserted into the body of the pump and pos potentially, I don't know, uh, introduce an area of weakness where it could leak because I think that's just friction fitted. Similarly, I'm not gonna undo this one because that seems to be a metal thread into a metal insert that's put into the nylon um, vessel. So I doubt if that is leaking. And then the final one is the one that goes onto the brake fluid reservoir. Like I've already released this. Again, this is smooth on both sides, although it has like a ridge in the middle. It's very thick. And I was thinking one of the things that uh, the other guy mentions is that only one turn of this engages with your master cylinder, which isn't very much. Um, so one reason for that would be because of the thickness of this washer, it's really thick. So if you maybe have a problem with that, you could potentially look at taking this rubber seal out and getting a thinner rubber seal, possibly one out of the actual cap of the master cylinder that comes with your vehicle. Because I'm assuming, I haven't checked mine, if you could take that out, then I'm guessing that's a lot thinner than this. Now this one he mentioned uh, is probably wisest to use brake fluid on this one. Although it shouldn't really matter because you're not intending for the brake fluid in your reservoir to actually come into contact with this. All you're really looking for is a seal. However, I'm going to use brake fluid. I've now realised I've got silicon lubricant all over this gloves and I can't get it off. All right, so there's my rubber seal. I'm just gonna get a little bit of brake fluid. I'll just put a bit in, my, in the cap. Actually, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sort of, uh, if you can see this, hopefully, I'm gonna kind of Drizzle it on, see if I'm doing a bit of cookery. That's on one side, that's on the other. It doesn't want to really adhere to the rubber actually, it just kind of wants to run off. It's like it's, uh, when something's hydroscopic, it's like that, it just kind of wants to disappear. So I'm not sure that will actually be much help. Yeah, it's interesting. It doesn't really, uh, it's not going to stay there, if you know what I mean. It's, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how much help that will be. So if that doesn't, if this fails, if it does, if it leaks around the cap, possibly what I will do is remove and clean it. And then I, I might try a bit of silicon lubricant, but I'll see how it goes. All right, so I've just, I've just done it up to about 10 PSI. And I'm gonna leave it for a couple of minutes and see if it goes down. Well, I've left it a few minutes. It doesn't appear to have gone down. Maybe uh, a fraction of a PSI. Might be slightly under where I left it, but not significantly. And I'm assuming, I haven't tried it yet, I'm assuming that's for releasing the pressure within the vessel. Yeah. Okay, so when you store it and put this away, then obviously release your pressure before you go and put this away. And also before you open it, because now it's going to open really easily. 